Hey there, besties. Something, 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 something just ain't right for our favorite mayor and favorite city, Brennan Johnson of Chicago. Shout out to BJ. Pause. Shout out to the Washington Examiner that let us know that Brandon Johnson received the lowest approval rating of a Chicago mayor in early months of his term. This is as of November the 15th. Mm, mm, mm. I cannot imagine why. Six months after Democratic Mayor Brandon Johnson's inauguration, city residents are not pleased with his administration's work, earning him the lowest approval rating for a Windy City mayor starting his or her term in modern history. Wow. <laughs> Historically, Chicago mayors have been popular early in their terms, but that is not the case of Johnson. A poll from the Illinois Policy Institute conducted by conservative-leaning Echelon Insights found that Johnson has a 28% approval rating. The rating is just one point above former Mayor Lori Lightfoot. Oh, well, that's good. That's good. Shout out to him for that. Lori Lightfoot, when she lost her re-election campaign in February, one point above former Mayor Rahm Emanuel in 2016 in the aftermath of the officer-involved um, issue with 17-year-old Laquan McDonald. Mm -mm -mm. I ain't even gonna get into that right now, y'all. The only other mayor to come close to a low score of 30% is Mayor Michael Balandic. Shout out to y'all that live in Chicago. I have no idea who that is. Who scored 33% in 1979. Damn, according to the Illinois Think Tank. Johnson's approval rating was the highest among ages 18 to 29 at 32% and lowest among ages 40 to 49 at 24%. Hmm, hmm. So the kids like Brandon, but the adults don't. All right. The polling numbers likely correlate with Johnson's outreach goals for teenagers and youth mm -mm -mm, who tend to connect with liberal policies as well as a decline in support from older voters who lean toward Democrat Paul Vallas in the mayoral election earlier this year. All right. So Brandon was going for the kids and not the adults. He got elected. And now who's overtaking stuff? The kids. Mm, mm, mm. This is a mess. Watch these. Watch this man get reelected, y'all. Watch this man when the time comes because he's new. So we got a while to wait. But he'll get reelected. During the April runoff election, Johnson was backed by 58.2% of voters ages 18 to 34 and 45.7% of those ages 35 to 49. Vallis had the advantage with older voters with 50.6% of voters, 65 and older, and 53.4 between ages 50 and 64 supporting him. Johnson's low approval rating is a signal that Chicago may not be responding to his liberal policy agenda, which he heavily campaigned on in the election. He ran his bid for the mayorship on comprehensive approaches to public safety. Are you kidding me? An education that included criminal justice reform and an emphasis on mental health. What has he done for mental health? Anybody in Chicago that can answer that, please let me know. The poll found Johnson had the highest disapproval rating in crime and public safety at 66%, followed by 64% in immigration management and 63% in housing and homelessness. What's left? Somebody tell me what's left. So you youngins know it all? You the ones that are responsible for this? Is that what we're saying right now? Mm, mm, mm. When asked what the biggest problem facing Chicago is, 69% of residents said crime. I know you effing lying. And 52% said they strongly disapprove of Johnson's approach to crime. 73% of voters support a larger police. Uh, 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 uh. Yo, policemen, what happened to defund the police? That was young people, defund the police. They was out there, defund the police. On the campaign trail, Johnson said he would move to promote officers within the Chicago Police Department as it struggles with over 1,000 vacancies. Mm -mm -mm. Since taking office, Johnson has pushed for tax increases to aid homelessness, defended teenage rioters, appointed a new superintendent, and restructured the Chicago School Board, authorized the cremation of permanent tent camps for immigrants. I'm sorry, creation of permanent tent camps for immigrants and called on the government to fast track work permits for immigrants as Chicago experiences an influx of Southern border States. Well, that's what you youngins wanted. That's what you youngins shall get. This is all for y'all. 
In July, the Chicago City Council approved resolutions to hold hearings on mental health, including one called Treatment, Not Trauma, that would help the Chicago Police Department respond to mental health crisis, a pillar in the Democratic criminal justice restructuring agenda. So you're going to use your police who need to be out there to fight crime to deal with pe people who have mental health issues instead of maybe saying that you want to have people in nursing maybe or something like that to respond. Okay. Shout out to the policemen. Y'all got a lot to do just like the teachers. Council members also approved transforming a motel into a housing and social services site for homeless people struggling with mental health and substance abuse. Listen, if you got homelessness and mental health and substance abuse, you want some help, you're going to have to agree to go to an institution for your mental health and to take care of the substance abuse at the same time. Now, when we were looking at, what was it, Portland, and they offered this to those people that were homeless, they refused it. But then as soon as you want to put them in jail because they're being a nuisance, then people are all outraged. Come on now, y'all got to work with us. Y'all got to work with us. 46% of Chicagoans oppose the real estate tax increase. I bet y'all do. That will be on the March 2024 ballot. And 63% of Chicago residents oppose sheltering migrants in heated tents this winter, according to the poll. Six months into the new administration, these poll results are a call from Chicagoans to Mayor Johnson to change course. Hmm. Chicago is a world-class city, is it? And the mayor's office has a great opportunity to solve issues that would make it more appealing to live here. Good luck with that said Josh Bandock, head of policy for the Illinois Policy Institute. Fortunately, Chicagoans are also pointing the way forward for the mayor. Mayor Johnson can regain pop popular support by focusing on lowering crime. Good luck with that. Lowering taxes. Good luck with that. And making the city more attractive for businesses. Good luck with that. He's just supposed to change course already. He ain't been listening to y'all. I mean, don't give up, though. Shout out to y'all. Good luck to ya. Good luck to ya. Mm, mm, mm. Is this really a surprise, though? No surprise here whatsoever. We'll see if anything changes. Good luck to y'all. I just, mm, I don't know, y'all. Y'all put them in office. The Zaz did this. They said that's what they wanted. That's what they got. So maybe someone, maybe he'll be a one-term mayor or something. But y'all got a long ways to go to deal with him before you can even think about reelecting somebody else. I don't know what the problem is with Chicago, but it's been a mess since I've even known the uh, name Chicago. And I don't even know what the hell it is that couldn't be done. But I'm just saying, Brandon don't seem to care. He one of these liberals that's worried about social damn justice and making sure everybody is okay. And guess what? Everybody can't be okay. Somebody got to lose. That's just how it works. Anyway, shout out to y'all if you made it this far. I appreciate the support. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe. If you are new, hit the like button, comment. I'll see you all in the next one. We do not care.